Now that you've studied noun clauses, adjective clauses, and adverb clauses, it is time to distinguish between the three types. Noun clauses, adjective clauses, and adverb clauses all have some things in common. They all start with certain important words, and they all have a subject and a verb that comes after that important word. All three are dependent clauses, so you know that means they can't be sentences alone. And all three of these make complex sentences in combination with an independent clause. So let's look at the clause types individually. Noun clauses act like nouns in a sentence. They are subjects in the sentence. For example, what she said isn't true. They are objects in the sentence. They come after verbs. For example, she hopes that we will visit soon. And they come after prepositions, just like nouns. So, for example, I'm ready for whoever wants to come. Adjective clauses act like adjectives in a sentence. They come directly after the nouns or the pronouns in a sentence that they describe. And they give us more information about that noun or pronoun. For example, the woman who helped us was very kind. So this gives us information about which woman. We drove down a street that was very dark. This adjective adjective clause describes the street. It gives us information about what that street looked like. Adverb clauses act like adverbs in a sentence. This is a little bit more difficult to understand, but they can explain when an action happens, so it gives information about time. For example, her dog ran away when she was at school. Adverb clauses can also give information about why something happens, the reason or the purpose. Her dog ran away because she left the gate open. And adverb clauses can talk about how something happened, so condition or contrast. This one is contrast, although, right? So her dog ran away, although he came back. The words that start adjective clauses and noun clauses are similar. Noun clauses begin with that or question words. That can be WH question words like what, where, when, and yes, no question words like if and whether. Adjective clauses start with who, which, and that. Those are the three common ways to start an adjective clause. But you'll also learn in other classes that there are other ways to start adjective clauses. For example, with where and whose. Because noun clauses and adjective clauses start with similar words, those two are the most easy to confuse. So let's look at this example. I believe that all people should be treated with respect. Is it a noun clause or an adjective clause? It's a noun clause. Why? Because it comes after a verb. It's in the object position of the sentence. What goes in object position? A noun. People who disrespect immigrants are forgetting the history of our country. So who disrespect immigrants? What type of clause? Did you say adjective? This clause comes right after a noun and it gives more information about that noun. So it's an adjective clause. Let's do a few more. 
America is a country that is made up of immigrants. What comes right before the clause? A noun. So this has to be an adjective clause that describes the noun. This one's not underlined, but it should be. It is important to remember that America is a country of immigrants. So here's our clause. What type of clause? Well, it comes after our verb. So it is in object position. So that means noun clause. Two more. What we look like is not important. What position of the sentence is this? It's subject position, so it's a noun clause. The thing that matters is our character. So matter is a verb in this case. So that matters is a clause describing the noun thing. When it describes a noun, it's an adjective clause. Now the words that start adverb clauses are different. Words like after, before, as, until, when, whenever, while, because, since, although, even though, if, even if, by the time, as soon as, unless, and so that. These are totally different than the words that start noun and adjective clauses, for the most part. So they're really not as confusing. But some of these words, like before, after, and until, can be prepositions. So you have to look at what comes after the word. Is it a subject plus a verb? Well, in that case, it's an adverb clause. Is it just a noun? In that case, it's a prepositional phrase. So tell me, is it an adverb clause or a prepositional phrase? All right, let's try that one again. So adverb clause or prepositional phrase. My friends left after dinner. We have the, the word in question, after, that can start an adverb clause or a prepositional phrase. Afterwards, we only have a noun. So this is a simple sentence with a prepositional phrase. PP. My friends left after they ate dinner. So now we have the word plus subject and verb. So we have an adverb clause. We stayed until the sun rose. PP or adverb clause. Adverb clause, we have a subject and a verb. We stayed until sunrise. In this case, it's a PP. Sunrise is a noun. So now let's look at larger chunks of writing and try to find the dependent clauses and then label what type of dependent clause do you see? Where are the dependent clauses? Here's the first one. Did you find it? Now, what type of dependent clause is it? It's a noun clause because it's in subject position. Here's our second dependent clause. What type is that? Did you say adverb clause? You would be right. Let's look at another chunk of writing. Where's the first dependent clause? Is it after the divorce? No, that's just a prepositional phrase. 
Here it is. She runs a restaurant that is very popular in her town. What kind of dependent clause is it? It's an adjective clause describing the noun restaurant. Where's the next one? She didn't think that she could run it on her own. What type of clause? It comes after the verb in object position, so it's a noun clause. Here's our last example. What type of clause do you see? Well, here's our first one. What type of clause is it? This one's tricky. This is a noun clause. Beginning with the question word when. It's coming after B plus adjective. It's in object position. What type of clause is our next example? This one is an adverb clause. So I hope these examples helped you clarify the difference between noun, adjective, and adverb clauses. And in the next section, you'll do a little bit more practice.